What's up everybody, Tech Trucker here, and today we've got another review of the Hasbro Marvel Legends X-Men Wave Old Man Logan. That's right, Old Man Logan here, and I gotta say, it's actually considerably better than I expected. Uh, one note, one thing that does disappoint me is it comes with no Build-A-Figure piece, and it comes with zero accessories, and we'll talk about that near the end. But let's go ahead and crack this thing open and take a closer look. All right, let's take a look at the articulation first. And there's uh, some some definite good points and some not so great points on this figure. But let's take a look at the head articulation first. His head comes on a ball peg and a hinge, and it works really, really well, even with the jacket. Um, looking up is pretty decent, uh, about what I would expect. Looking down is really quite good. He can get his chin all the way down into his chest, which is great. He's got good side-to-side -side motion. There's nothing getting in the way of that. That jacket's fairly soft, and he's got some pretty good tilt. So uh, I really like the articulation on, on the head. In the shoulder, he's got a ball hinge, which allows his arm to get pretty much straight out, which is pretty good. He's got full rotation ability in that arm. He has a bicep swivel, and I'm not a huge fan of it. It's a little bit weak, and it just looks a little funny. Uh, the double jointed elbow or the double hinged uh, elbow works well enough, uh, but I think it should be a little bit better. There's a peg and a hinge in the wrist, and he's he's got decent range of motion with that. Uh, the the uh, cuff of the jacket does kind of cause a little bit of an issue, but not a huge uh, issue. In the torso, he's got a hinge joint, which actually works pretty well, even with that jacket. The jacket's really soft, so he's able to crunch forward a really good amount, which is great, even with that jacket on. And then backwards, he's or arching his back. He can, he can go back about one click, which isn't bad. He's got a waist swivel, which is a little bit loose on mine, but not too terrible. Moving into the hips, he's got T-jointed hips, and mine is frozen stuck. Let's see if I can get that thing unstuck without breaking it. We're just going to wiggle it just a little bit. Uh, normally, I would probably take a hair dryer or something just to warm it up before I do this. There we go. There we go. Good. Okay, so the T-jointed hip joints are uh, pretty much... The T-jointed hip joints are about what we've seen. Uh, the T-jointed hip joints are about what we've seen on most of the legends, and it's pretty good, especially for an old guy. He's got good flexibility. He can kick forward almost all the way out, which is good, and not a lot of backwards kick. Eh, not too bad. It doesn't really stay there, but uh, it could be better. Uh, the upper thigh cut works well enough. Double-jointed knees work really well. I like that. And it actually looks good. The, the knee joint looks pretty decent. And then down in the ankle, he's actually got a ball hinge, which allows for a decent amount of backwards motion and not too bad forward. Could be a little bit better, but the sculpt looks really nice, so I can live with that. There's an ankle rocker, uh, and with that ball hinge, uh, it, it works pretty well. It, it's a little bit loose on mine, um, but I believe this is similar to the Taskmaster. Uh, and so I don't know if Marvel or if Hasbro is planning on using that even more or if this is just kind of they throw it in from time to time when they when they feel like it. But overall, the the articulation is pretty solid on this figure. Uh, you know, I'm not not too disappointed with it. I would say that the arm and shoulder in the bicep area is probably the weakest area. Uh, same with the elbows. They they should bend a little bit better, and it feels like they um, are just kind of hindered there. The sculpt of this figure, I'm actually pretty pleased with. I think I think Hasbro did a really good job with this, and I'm surprised because I wasn't really too excited about it at first. But this head sculpt is amazing. I think they really nailed it with with the sculpting and the paint. Now there could be a little more shading in the hair, but the the actual face. Uh, is sculpted really, really well. The eyebrows are painted fairly cleanly. The eyes are painted clean. 
Uh, like I said, the hair could use a little bit of a black wash, but it still is quite good, and, and I really just like that nasty look that he's got on it on that face. Moving into the jacket, this jacket is a really, really soft, pliable, uh, rubbery plastic, and I think it looks great. I think they did an awesome job with the collar, getting that uh, lighter tan color. The actual jacket piece looks like it's got some sort of shading of some sort to give it a leather look. I think it's amazing. I like the little the little seam across the back. The arms don't match entirely. Uh, number one, it's a, it's a different kind of plastic. It's the hard plastic that we're used to. Uh, they tried to sculpt it to look very similar to the jacket, so I appreciate that. Um, but it's I would have liked it if they had done kind of scrawny arms and done that same rubbery plastic over the top. Uh, this belt is really, really nice. They painted it very, very well. I like the gold and, and that they, they actually uh, painted the belt loops different colors. Uh, let's see if I can, if we can look at the back here. You can kind of see the back of the belt. It, it's, it just looks really nice. The, the pockets have nice uh, stitching. They have a nice stitch uh, sculpted into them. Not a lot of paint down on the legs, but a little bit, I think. Uh, and that just looks good. The boots look great. I love these boots. I think they look awesome. I like that there's the sculpted uh, cowboy uh, boot look. You can see the seam right along the sole. It just looks really, really good. I think they did a great job sculpting this. The paint isn't as good as the sculpt, but it's still pretty darn good, I would say. Uh, the other thing that I didn't, I don't think I noted, is they actually painted the zipper on the jacket. It's really, really awesome that they painted that zipper. Uh, it just looks really, really good. And because it's sculpted uh, like a zipper, you actually get that detail, which is amazing. So overall, I think the sculpt and the paint is really, really w well done, well executed by Hasbro, which is sometimes uh, not the case. So normally I would be talking about the accessories and it's kind of, I, I would say these are kind of accessories because they can come off and go back on to the figure. But uh, he doesn't really come with any other accessories except for the claws that are removable. Uh, he gets six of these little plastic uh, claws that we saw before with, I believe, the, uh, the regular uh, X-Men Wolverine and they just peg right into the hands pretty easily. They, these are pretty pliable, bendy uh, claws. And, you know, I like them. And actually, I think that the, the hand is sculpted a little bit better this time where it actually looks like it's coming out of his knuckle uh, rather than sitting on top of the knuckle. But overall, I really wish that uh, we'll speed this portion up uh, so you don't have to watch all of my just putting these things in. Uh, but the issue that I have with this figure is not so much with the figure, it's the fact that if it's not going to come with any accessories, I really want it to come with a Build-A-Figure piece. I just, I, I gave Hasbro the pass with the Deadpool because they gave us so many accessories that there was no need and no room in the package uh, for a Build-A-Figure part. But with Old Man Logan, there's so much extra space in that packaging that it just, it really doesn't warrant not getting a Build-A-Figure part, especially since Colossus technically comes with two pieces. Uh, one of those pieces could have come with, with Old Man Logan. So overall, I am really, really still quite happy with this figure. I think the, the head sculpt alone just is amazing on this figure and probably makes it worth buying solely for that then you add in that jacket and i just i love that jacket i think it's it's amazing i love just how soft and pliable it is it's not like some of their other softer uh jackets that are still quite hard and and limit some of the articulation the jacket causes uh or poses no posing issues poses no posing issues yeah we'll leave that uh so I definitely recommend go out and grab this figure. Uh, I don't know if it's worth the 20 bucks. It's probably going to be a slightly harder to find one just because everyone's gobbling them up. So uh, hopefully this helps and uh, gives you a little perspective as to what this, uh, what this figure is all about. Alrighty folks, I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button. If you haven't already done so, click the subscribe button. Check out some of my other videos. You can see them right up here and down here. Also, check out the featured 
video that I've got here. Every single video I'm going to feature someone else's video. Somebody who has a channel, either it's an up and comer like myself or somebody who's an old pro. Whatever it is, it's going to be awesome. So make sure you go check it out, like their content, subscribe to their channel. And until next time, I'll see you later. Tetris Brain Blast.